So Restroom Entertainment has a, kind of a history of working on a lot of Tom Clancy titles and you know, being involved with the military. And when we got the opportunity to work on Far Cry 4, um, it was something we really had never d done before. So this was a, a great opportunity for us working with Montreal and really kind of pushing multiplayer and Far Cry uh, to areas that had never gone before. That was a big change for Red Storm, you know, approaching map creation kind of an organic sense uh, as opposed to a manufactured sense. Far Cry can't feel manufactured. You know, when you play either single player or multiplayer, it feels like the same game. Our goal with Battles of Karat was really to make a true Far Cry experience. And we knew we couldn't do that with small maps, we couldn't do that with very linear maps. We really needed that wide open world that Far Cry is known for. When you're playing a multiplayer match, you get to climb to the top of the radio tower and look out on a vista and look down into the outpost. You know, it's all those single player water cooler moments, but now they're happening in a multiplayer environment. We wanted to really get that feeling of, you know, Karat and the open exploration in our player progression system, so we went with a a way that the player can really open up and choose their path to unlocking everything that's in multiplayer. It was important to us at Red Storm that the player can play the way they wanted to play. Rather than having set levels like in other games, uh, the player will earn a type of currency that's unique to PvP, which they'll be able to spend to unlock weapons, attachments, and skills throughout the game. You know, if you're interested in buying that you know, gigantic assault rifle from the start, go ahead, absolutely. Get it from the beginning and then have the experience that you want to have and start having fun right now. For example, in Outpost, I may choose to play kind of a local defender of the base and put out proximity mines and have an assault rifle ready for CQB. As a Rakshasa, I like to get up close and personal, so I'll use the blink arrows and explosive to really do a lot of damage up close to the enemy. When we started working on Far Cry 4, we immediately went and looked at community feedback and saw what the fans wanted for a new Far Cry experience. And we saw time and time again, they wanted vehicles in multiplayer. So we've got an ATV, we've got a variety of trucks, we've got a tuk-tuk, and then you can also charge into an outpost on the back of an elephant, which is just an incredible experience every time it happens. There's just something inherently funny about seeing a fleet of tuk-tuks go through the woods. And you know, we fully expect to see the community embrace the tuk-tuk in all of its glory and, and put it in video after video. We wanted to take an asymmetrical approach um, and we wanted to present the exotic side of the game and let the player have a completely different play experience. Every single match, you know, with your explosives and your guns and have that power, that ballistic power, but then present that other side. It's a more savage side, you know, a more primal side with the stealth and the takedowns. So as Rakshasa, you have the ability to summon either an eagle or a bear or a tiger and then use those against the Golden Path. So whether you're distracting them and trying to do an assault on an outpost or you're sneaking up behind someone using a mortar and throwing a tiger there to, to take them off of that position, it just adds this whole sense of chaos and fun to the gameplay. I find that animals are essential to my playstyle and leave them to defend one objective while I move quickly through the space to get to another objective that may be under attack. One of the best moments that can happen in Battles of Karat is an elephant versus tuk-tuk matchup. And even though the tuk-tuk is going to lose every time, it never gets old. I'm going to fly right into the outpost, you know, to start capturing it. But just on the outside of the outpost, firing in at my buddies, is a Golden Path guy. And I land right next to this guy. And I just take him out. They didn't even have a clue. It was fantastic. I go stealth, head into the outpost, start capturing. It was beautiful. Far Cry 4, in stores now. Rated M for Mature.